What's going on everybody? Savage here. Are you guys tired of struggling 17 months in the war zone? Are you having a hard time breaking out of your bad habits and learning on what you should be doing positioning wise and decision making wise? Sit back, relax, watch this video to help analyze these players with me. Decide for yourself whether what I'm saying is what you would do or if you have a different plan. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the gameplay. Oh yeah. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. All right, guys, just like every time we're gonna put our fist away, we're trying to judge their aim accuracy and all that fancy stuff. See how good the response time is. It's unfortunate for you, brother. But guys, again, like I always say, if you guys are trying to find a way to get more energy so you can have better stamina in Warzone or any other game that you're playing, try sneak energy. I know it's empty right now, kind of, sort of. I'm on the last of mine for the day, but this shit's fire. Uh, my favorite flavor right now is Strawberry Millions. Definitely hits like a summon bitch. The link to this is in the description below. Check it out, buy the sample pack, see if you like it, and don't forget to use code SAVAGE at checkout. But here we are, ladies and gentlemen, spectating Egan in the squad trying to get money for a loadout. I have no idea where his squad mates are. All right. Look at the teamwork here, boys. No idea why Egan's over here. I'm going to be honest. He's just... He's just looting for no reason. This team's over here trying to do a recon. Let's go spectate a team. I don't really know what's going on over here. Lapine seems to be in a fight right now. Guys on the train. And now we should be able to go ahead and do the recon and get a little bit bigger of a bag. Now the recon won't give you much money. I never suggest doing the recon for the purpose of getting money, but it definitely will tell you what guys in the next circle's at. Now, the recon objective is a great strategy if you guys are going for more consistent games. It will be a little bit slower paced game because you're gonna go ahead and position yourself in each circle, but at least by end game, you'll know exactly where to go and you'll be able to read and pre-plan the entire game. So if you guys are trying to figure out where to go every game and win back-to-back -back games, this is probably your best route to do it. All right, we got enough money for a loadout, but unfortunately, because our teammate is so damn far away from us, and it's not going to be much help. What is he doing? He's still looting. Look at this guy. Again, guys, if you're tired of playing by yourself or having teammates this crazy, is what we'll say, uh, join our Discord and play with some people that actually have some brain cells because this is this is stupid. This is dumb. Now, I'm not against people going off and doing their own thing, but do your own thing. Don't just sit there and loot. If you're going to loot, why not just loot next to your teammates where there's a lot of buildings? Oh, we had great beams and instantly whiff right after we break the armor. Now, again, we take, take advantage of this. You can go to the top floor and beam the enemy from the top. Uh, but we're forcing ourselves right now into a 1v3 position where we don't know where all the teammates are at. We just allowed the player that we broke to replay it up. And here we are getting scared and crouch walking again, guys. Your mindset is I don't want to run around because people can hear my footsteps. Well, let me let me give you a plot twist. They're going to kill you regardless. They can see you. We're in a 1v3 right now. So trying to be stealthy is not going to help. Weird. So again, the mindset of, I don't want people to hear where I'm at, get it out of your head. Just let them hear. If you don't want them to hear, get aggressive and find some dead silences. This is just not ever the, uh, the option. Again, we had the armor plate broken on the first guy. We instantly should have collapsed on him and tried our best to get the knock and force a 1v2. Granted, he probably would have struggled regardless, but still, you want to attempt. That way, you can get better and grow as a player. And this poor SOB, bro. Egan's out here. just He's playing Twisted Metal. He's got no idea what he should be doing right now none and again we could already have our loadout we could have had a nice 3v3 fight but unfortunately our teammates who clearly couldn't handle a 2v3 they fall and now we're left to solo the game our teammate does lose a gulag so we could do a supply run if we really want to be team oriented we got one right here lots of supply runs a few bounties downtown but you can go ahead and see the circle's not going to favor downtown, so my ass would not go downtown. I'd be going more factory, superstore, airport, hangars area to get more kills and get some aggressive gameplay and also get some better money. Both our teammates go down, and still here we are going for the scavenger. I like scavengers. Don't get it twisted, but grab this. It might direct you over here, 
get another teammate back, and then you can go grab a scav. No reason for this. What is going on, brother? All right, we have our loadout. We have two teammates when you get back. There's a lot of loadouts here. There's three, I believe. Is there one on the other side of this? Yeah, there is three. So there's three loadouts. We need to hurry the hell up. Get in, get out, and rotate, bro. C58 and the Bullfrog. Oh, my God. Now, look, his Bullfrog build, not really my favorite build. I have seen people use this one before. Um, I think he just likes the blueprint, to be honest. But this is not the one I would recommend. Bullfrog is a great gun, but you got to build the gun correctly. And I will display my Bullfrog build right here. Now that's what I prefer. Um, a lot of other people prefer different builds, and that's fine. Use what's best for you. But this one's got great range, great hip fire accuracy. It's nutty. And the big ass magazine allows you to easily, or more easily, 1v4 enemies. Come on, man. Get ahead and get the kill. Nice knock. Now, where's his teammates at? You need to rotate some cover. We just made some noise. We just pissed off the team. And instead of rotating to a higher position, okay, thank you. Rotate to a higher position so you can get to execute. See if you can see his other teammates and then get the kills. We're blinding ourselves from the enemy, though. He's going to get res. He's going to self-res. And we just got the knock again for nothing. I'm never for only executing, but you definitely want to try to get the execution off. Also, trigger discipline's a must. You guys are shooting at a lot of players um, and missing a lot of shots and wasting a lot of ammo. There's a guy in the distance. You see him? If the enemy's not in your crosshair, don't, don't spam the trigger. All right, we're able to get the execution. He almost got the safety. Good shit. But now we know where his teammate's at because he was crawling to his teammate, I would assume. Circle's rotating in. Again, we need to get our teammates as well. We're in, we're in the middle of the open, bro. No, dive to cover. When you saw him instantly peek that heady, you should have instantly broke off. When you got shot, you should have instantly broke off. You would have been in a bad position. He may have had a, a nice fight on you, but at least he would have dove off into that ravine. The enemy would have been forced to push you, and you could have caught him out in the open. Again, guys, <laughs> use Coach Savage at checkout, boys. Oh, I'm wearing a sneak shirt and everything. I'm all sneaked out today. Damn. <laughs> Savage, you try hard. I know. I know. I'm just trying to spread the good word of sneak. Oh, bitch. So good. So good. All right. So again, here we are playing the edge of the gas. We are rocking duo, um, duo trios right now. So I like to see that. Let's see what his other teammate's sitting on kill-wise. All right, four kills and three kills, and we got to rotate a good distance. Now, again, um, when you see a circle like this, and, of course, the ravine breaks downtown off, don't ever go downtown. Just go ahead, rotate in. One, just to be safer. Two, to be less in the open. And three, to get more aggressive. Even if you guys don't want to play aggressive, that's fine. These tips are still for you as far as rotations are concerned. Always a good idea to rotate as if you're being aggressive because if you're playing too passive, you will get gate kept every single time. All right, right now, what do we do? Where do we go? I wouldn't even, I mean, there's going to be enemies here. We have two vehicles that are not spawned, so there will be players here. If you're going for kills, I'm not against it at all. We are getting caught out in the open from a team, I believe, to the right-hand side. He's trying to follow the tracers, unfortunately looking the wrong direction. And uh, he gets taken out relatively easy. Blue needs to look in the correct direction. They seem pretty far out, so they might not be pushing. However, if I was the enemy team, I'd be pushing. Doesn't matter. Our teammate gets sniped in the face, and we go down GG to the squad. All right, here we are moving on to Hancock. Huel and Pavlenko. Who's the carry on the squad? All right, our dude Hancock is heart beating the world. I love it. We're trying to gatekeep enemies. I don't understand the heart beating in this position. It's not going to pick up the mountain. You can see everything in front of you. Again, stop making it a habit to heartbeat. It's I'm tired of talking about it. I really am, but y'all still out here doing it. 
What are we doing? Playing running around the Rosie. Look at this. Where'd I kill the guy at? Way down. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Down, down, down. He's so lost. He's so lost. And again, from a scanning standpoint, because that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to look for enemies. From a scanning standpoint, we're out in the open. So God forbid we actually see an enemy who's on the higher ground, who's got cover, and we're standing in the open because if we start shooting at him, we're going to die. Whenever you're scanning, whenever you're navigating, try to play trees, rocks, the terrain, ridges, shit like that. Sitting there out in the open looking around, you're going to die every time. What are we doing? Why, why y'all playing so weird? Why y'all being so weird right now? Come on, man. You can't go in there. And look, we got money. You know, we could get a UAV. I don't know math, but I think we can get two UAVs, right? Definitely now. Yes, it's $500. Rotate in. There's no one clearly over here. We're standing out in the open. No one was shooting at us. We looked around. No one's there. So let's go ahead and rotate. Okay, he's got seven kills. He had a really decent start, but we've had 20 enemies drop and die since we started spectating him, and we haven't done anything. Here we are laying prone with an... With with an SMG out. There we go. Switch the weapon. My guy. Use the right weapon for the right fight. God forbid someone at the distance would start shooting at you and you start spamming them with an SMG. You would have missed every damn bullet. Every one of them. Let's rotate in. And you know, this is the downfall to a lot of people spreading bad things. And you know, y'all being told to play the edge of the circle. And look, yes, if you're being aggressive, play the edge. But if you're not being aggressive, stop it. The edge of the circle play is not for every play style. Y'all trying to increase your kills, don't play the edge. If you're trying to increase your kills, you gotta go where you know where the enemies are at, boys. You have to. Notice as well when he's rotating, when he's navigating, he's not scanning, he's not slide canceled one time. He's not doing anything. He's just running on autopilot with his crosshair aimed at the ground. Reticle, sorry, not crosshair, reticle. Got a bounty up, checking the heartbeat again, dude. When you check the heartbeat sensor, notice how they just run in with confidence like nobody's there. I think people have ghosts on. Not everybody, but people do have ghosts. Even when you enter a building, you need to clear all corners. You need to slide cancel on that bitch and do a quick scan. Hell yeah. Throw it down, you might get lucky. We got a bounty over here on the right-hand side that we could easily gatekeep. So if we went ahead and started pre-rotating, we could hold fire station, assuming no one's there, and we could gatekeep the bounty. But here we are focused up on loot for no damn reason. We have a shit ton of money. We have not spent a single dollar and also police station for the buy. But the longer we take to get there, the more opportunity the bounty has to go to police station. At that point, he will hold it and make it hard for us to even push. Take advantage of the fact that enemy's not there right now. Push it, push up in there and hold that position. Again, here we are just waiting for the enemies to come to us. But if you guys are waiting for enemies to come to you guys, again, you're wasting time. Your kill count will never increase to what you want it to be. And you run a huge risk of other enemies collapsing on you because the longer you sit in one spot, the bigger chance you have to get third partied or just shot in the bag. Josh walking against the wall. What? See, the heartbeat is a great tool, but this is the reason why I hate the heartbeat sensor. It may, it creates it creates fear and paranoia in players to the point that they don't want to play the game. They don't. We're hiding behind boxes. We're not even looking, fam. We're not even looking. Lose your eyes, man. Look at this. We can't see a damn thing, and he's heartbeating. Meanwhile, our two teammates are going down, and the bounty's pushing us. What's going to happen now? Oh, we got a heartbeat. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does with this, with this information. Teammates getting executed one at a time. We're going to back away from the enemy, leave our position. We could get the res off eventually, right? Let's go. Come on. Come on. Up the stairs. Now, a position like this, I would close the doors. That way I could hear if the enemies were pushing up or not. Um, There's a guy right behind you, fam. Baited so hard. Not to mention, I don't know how you didn't see him sitting there. I'm going to be honest. Wow. Anyway, here we are on the Galvez getting insta-rocked from downtown. Not actually downtown. That's just a phrase from NBA Jam back in the day. Never mind. I'm old. All right. So now we're getting res. We got to go buy. We got to go back and buy Anton. 
And we got to go out in the open where these enemies are clearly beaming the shit out of us. I do believe they're mounted from their pure accuracy or they're just really goaded. So we're, we're getting beamed. What do you do? We don't want to jump off the rooftop because the moment you do, you're going to get you're going to get shot and you have to pop more plates. It'd be a waste. Run down the stairs and start pushing the enemy on the low ground. And hopefully they get the guys won't beam you. The good thing about pushing on the low ground is the fact that yeah, still we're getting shot from the hello. Hello. We forget about them, boys. Did you forget about them? The good thing about pushing the low ground is, yeah, they have the high ground. They can easily beam us. But but since there's so much cover, buildings, walls, things like that, you really have a good way to navigate to the enemies without getting without getting beamed from a rooftop. Now, the enemy that we were shooting at is still around here. That's a waste. That's a huge waste, bro. You really think he's... Oh, he still is there. Damn. Notice again, there's enemies on the right-hand side, and as we're navigating, we didn't even once look. You guys need to start opening your eyes. That way, again, you can make plans. If you guys are refusing to scan around as you're walking around, how are you guys going to make better decisions when you need to navigate areas like this? And again, we spectate another team for the hundredth time in this series where they're just playing the edge of the gas, and they're going to get caught up. There's enemies right there shooting. We could easily third-party these guys. There's one. There's two. Very easy. Now we got to whip the gas mask down, take it back off. Takes us from the ability to shoot the enemy. Able to track to the to the south. There we go. Come on, man. Push out there and get the easy kill. Y'all can flank this guy. Don't go for the execution. He's dead. There he's right in my car. Oh, oh my God. I thought he was going to get shit on. And again, we got two more. We got two more teams sitting right here. We got the solo we never did kill. And we got the team that's shooting at him as well. And we're being beamed through the wall. We need to move. We're in a bad spot little too late for this fight he's gonna shoot us and he thinks that he's safe but he doesn't realize he's got that new perk let him know where he's at we're probably gonna end up dead by going back right here we could catch these guys out in the open but right now we need to worry about ourselves and it ain't gonna look good for us sos beaming us great position trying our best to sidestep and play at the same time somehow do we make it somehow we make it to the safety the guy up top on sos needs to be better with his shots Wow, our teammates in the bad spot. We need to push this enemy and suppress him. We've got to do something. Maynard's able to get the knock. But Galvez needs to go up. Go up quick. What are you doing? Oh my God, bro. Your teammates in the bad spot, dude. And you're sitting here just holding an angle for no fucking reason. If Maynard dies, it's because his teammate's an idiot. Good thing crouch walking so beneficial, right? Thank God, crouch walking. They can't hear you, so you're instantly invincible, right? You keep that logic. Keep that thinking, guys. Otherwise, that's going to keep happening. Again, whenever I say that, like, crouch walking's useless, and people always argue with me, I, I don't want people to hear my footsteps. That's dumb. We heard that guy's footsteps. We heard him bust through the door. What happened? We still lost the gunfight. Slowing down your gameplay is only beneficial in a very few scenarios, which we have not covered this video. Now, I'm not saying to never crouch walk. There are positions where you, you should. But it's not that common. Like five percent of the time, boys. That's that was a good, all right. That was a good play, honestly, going out there like that, round right the corner and catching the enemy on his heels. But fortunately, again, he had a teammate nearby and he got him. And that was just due to him really just going for the execute. Honestly, he shouldn't have played the entire situation. Again, you don't want enemies to res, but you want to outplay the entire situation before you focus up and go for the execute. And again, dude, look at how much money we have right now. We're still focused on loot. Why? Now, I put that ammunition down for that freaking daddy for sure, especially in this ending. And you might be thinking yourself a savage. Dude, what, what do you mean? This is a huge ass ending. You're not wide open. Why do you need dead silence? Well, if it favors these buildings, you're going to need that dead silence. Why are we so focused? I get you need plates. I understand that, bro. I really do. But let's go out there and get a fight and take the enemy's plates that we kill or trade plates amongst our teammates. Again, in games, you need to open your eyes and analyze where enemies are at so you can start planning how you're going to rotate. Wow. Wow. No. Bro, I get like y'all watch a lot of people and we're really good at our snipes and we can instantly flick on people. But if you're not that guy, you're not that guy. And Guillermo is not that guy. He's rocking 12 kills. He's on a decent game. He's got momentum and you can tell he feels himself, but... Okay, there you go. You got it. You got it. But you need to 
There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Patience with your shots, brother. You're all, you got momentum, but don't let the momentum distract you. Oh my God. Yeah, duck back to safety and played up. I don't like this position here at all. I, yeah, yeah, get out of that. Get, no, no, no. What are you doing, bro? Oh my God. We need to put some shots on the enemy. You got to snap. This is one of those moments where you need to get a quick scope. If there's any time to nail it, it's right now. And notice when he instantly stops. Remember, okay, let's let's just let me just focus. When he, when the guys on the rooftop, he's just ADSing and snap and trying his best, and he was missing all his shots. Notice those last two knocks. He lined it up on the enemy, was patient with the shots, locked onto the head, and got the armor crack on the knock. That's what he should be doing. He's feeling himself a little too much. His ego's getting built, so he's making crazy moves. But now he's finally calmed down, solidified, and he's able to win that team fight, and they're in a decent position now. Oh, they are in a really distant position. Now, the problem is, why are they all crouched? I don't know, but they need to separate a little bit. I like the fact that Giller's going to go over here, hopefully hold this angle, and they need to get eyes on different areas. You don't want to stick together, because if we're all watching the same area and an enemy team wraps around one direction, we're going to get messed up. Blizzard holding the west. You got orange. You got orange holding the other side. And here we are just watching our teammate. Not sure why we're watching our teammates, but to be honest, look how he's just crouched here. <laughs> We need to dive back to cover. Play the corners, man. Don't just sit there. Don't just sit there like Blizzard did. Blizzard made a bad play. Bad play. And again, we're in the same spot. This is not a good move at all. Whip out your whip out your other Yeah, thank you. Use the right gun for the right fight. Now I would have had my teammate crawl into the graveyard right here so you can get the res off. Because if these guys would have peaked, we would have gotten fried. And still, still Green's just crouch walking. All right, swapping out his gun for a close range. I would not use a sniper at all. I'd honestly switch the sniper for, I would use the Krig and the MP5. Sniper would benefit you in most situations, but this is a very close oriented um, fight. And it is a 3v2, about to be a 2v2 if we don't start helping our teammates out. No ping's going out, no idea where he's at. Need to separate and start. Yeah, this is not gonna go well, bro. Random stun's going up. Hopefully we're able to get some hits. Great nade, another stun going up. Now use the stuns to your advantage, bro. When you got the, when you got the stun mage, they instantly started positioning. Orange, I mean, green's doing the right thing right now. It's a 3v, 3v1 now. We just go ahead and just close the gap. Don't even worry about position. Just go ahead and get the hit. There it is. GG. All right, again, guys, look, I know everybody wants to get super flicky with their shots, but again, notice the player just spectating. Guillermo is on a really good game. He was rocking 12 kills, and then all of a sudden, his aim and accuracy started going wild and crazy, and he's just trying to do too much. And once he missed all the bullets in a sniper, he, of course, slowed it down and killed the team on the hill because he started practicing patience. Now there's a difference between being patient with your shots and having a slow reaction time. You need to snap onto the enemy quickly, make sure that the crosshair is lined up with the enemy's body and or head, preferably the head, and then take the shot. You guys are just whipping it back and forth and you haven't actually developed the skill and the knowledge to do so. You're just hindering your own performance. But regardless, they were able to solidify the win, GG.